So we're asked to do a response video. Dr. McCall's latest blog, Surprising Health Hazards Associated with All Fruit Diet. McCall goes through and talks about how Ashton Kutcher is the perfect example of why a fruit-based diet doesn't work. Ashton Kutcher. Now, if you haven't seen my Ashton Kutcher parody video, there's a link down below. Check that out. Now, Dr. McCullough is using Ashton Kutcher as the prime example of why fruit diet doesn't work. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher. This is Ashton Kutcher, ladies and gentlemen. And Joe McCullough, the quack, the king of all quacks, in my opinion, is using Ashton Kutcher as an example why the fruitarian diet, organic fruits and veggies, doesn't work. That's why, because Ashton Kutcher did it for a couple of weeks and it didn't work. So, McCullough's basis, everything else doesn't matter. <laughs> is McCullough a quack or is he genuinely, sincerely caring? I'd say with this sort of blog post, I'd say he's a quack, man. If you look on his website, he's always selling your shit. His eyes light up and he's like, what can I sell next? This is a really important video. You've got to buy my product. If you don't buy it within the next two weeks, you're going to die from some sort of really bad illness. And he's like, eyes like that. And he's like, how do you got any wrinkles? And I'm thinking, how much Botox has he got to like have no wrinkles here and his eyes wide like that? And it's like, hey, I'm Botox much? Anyways, just because you get Botox doesn't make you a bad person. But the fear campaign this guy uses is legendary. Every video, he's selling something using fear, 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 fear. This is sort of like Lord of the Rings, the dark forces and the good forces. McCall, in my opinion, represents the dark force, man. This guy is a fucking joke. He's using Ashton Kutcher as an example of why the fruitarian, fruit-based, fruit-vegan lifestyle doesn't work. McCullough says, if you eat more than two dates a day, that's 15 grams of glucose a day, you're going to get diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and obesity. Well, I buy my dates by the fucking box full, and when I get through boxes a week, I don't know if you'd call me obese. McCullough says the uric acid levels go up. If you look at all the blood tests on YouTube for the last few years, uric acid, my uric acid, always low. My triglycerides, always low. My body fat, always low. My blood sugar, always stable. My hemoglobin A1C, always in the low healthy range. McCola says, let's see what McCola's going to say. So he says, if you eat fruit more than two dates a day, if you eat more than two dates a day, according to McCola, you will have impaired glucose tolerance, insulin resistance, and diabetes. Look at me. I eat up to, <laughs> I eat up to 300, 500 grams of fructose daily, almost for the last 12 years. McCola's saying 15 grams, I'm saying 500 grams. I should have in compared glucose tolerance, don't have that. Look at my blood test. Judge my results, not by some theory or some infomercial put out by a quack doctor who wants to sell you more shit than you need. Leptin resistance, nonsense, I'll be obese. Fatty liver disease, nonsense, my liver's always good, my enzymes are always fantastic. According to my blood test by a real medical doctor, elevated triglycerides, always mine, always good. Inflammation, do I look like I'm inflamed? Hyperuricemia, which, which means hyperuric acid levels. My uric acid levels are always around under 2, 1.7 to 2. Most people are around 7 to 8. I don't eat animal products. When you eat animal products, you're getting uric acid in the animal products. So McCall is saying, if you eat fruit, it's going to raise uric acid. But fruit doesn't fucking have uric acid in it. It's a plant food. You can only get uric acid load from animal products, aka the diet McCullough recommends, the bacon and egg diet. Higher blood pressure, my blood pressure is always stable. Abdominal obesity, well, how many times do I have to flash my fucking abs across the net to prove that fructose keeps you fucking lean, man? Lean! <laughs> Look at these... The <laughs> I don't need to do drugs, man, to get high. I don't need to do drugs to laugh. I just have to read these infomercials that get put out by these guys selling you nonsense or like Robert Lustig, Sugar the Bitter Truth, where this fat guy is telling guys like me who are like 2% body fat, you shouldn't eat fructose because you're going to get fat. Well, hey, fatty, you're fat. I'm fucking shredded. What's up with that? Renal kidney damage. My kidney enzymes are always fantastic. Metabolic syndrome, a.k.a. obesity. I don't know. Is Drew and Ryder obese? I don't know. Fucking hell, man. This is hilarious. 
And then McCullough goes on with more bro science dogma, infomercial sales tactics, fear campaign, dark forces to sell bullshit product, the fruit fructose pancreatic cancer connection. Well, I'll put another link down below. You read Dr. McDougall's breakdown of Steve Jobs' health history. Now, McCullough says Jobs got cancer because of fruit, because fruit raises insulin, because, hang on, what? Fruit raises insulin? No, actually, wait, well, hey, I'm going crazy with this video. If you look up, fructose and insulin, T can you tell me this fructose require insulin to be metabolized? Last time I checked in the textbooks of human physiology, you didn't. I might be wrong. Find out. Check it out. Google up fructose and insulin. Does fructose need insulin to be metabolized? Last time I checked, it doesn't. I could be wrong, though. I might be wrong. But McCullough is saying if you eat fructose, your insulin levels are going to rise. I'll tell you what. If you look at all the long-term fruitarians. All of them have got low insulin levels. Why? Because you don't need as much insulin to process your food. If you're eating meat and stuff like that that's high in the insulin index, your insulin levels are going to be spiked. Why do you think fruitarians don't look so massive? They're not obese or they're huge because the insulin levels are low. Insulin is the most anabolic hormone around produced by the body. That's why non-diabetic bodybuilders shoot up insulin. It's very dangerous, but it creates a lot of mass because it stores all the nutrients in the cells and the fat and stuff like that, so it bulks you out. So if you want to bulk up, you want to raise your insulin levels. If you want to be slim, lean, be shredded or fit into that tight dress, you want to have low insulin levels. Fruit's your friend because fruit hardly requires any insulin for metabolization. Just look at the long-term fruit eaters and where are the fat ones? So I want to keep this video short. Bottom line is, I did the math and it just a, a quick sample of Dr. McCullough's products. I didn't have time to do all of them because they sell so much shit. I would have to spend $560 per month just to have a, a snippet of McCullough's health products per month. Now, what I find hilarious, they're all wrapped in plastic. They're all sold in plastic. So you, you are having health wrapped in plastic to your door. $560 a month. Now, there's two types of people in the health movement. I've worked in here long enough to, to find out what the deal is. There's two types and two types only. There's the scammers, the hucksters, the marketers, the infomercials just bombard you with fear campaigns to buy this next latest product wrapped in plastic, normally from China, India, Russia, Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, etc. Poor nations with high profit margins for someone selling that cheap product to the West. So McCall is literally a multi-millionaire selling cheap crap to rich people in the West who don't know better, who just buy into his fear campaigns. Multi-millionaire. Nothing wrong with being a millionaire, but why the fuck do you charge so much money, $560 for someone like myself, to have protein powders, vitamin C, B12, vitamin D, vitamin K2, all these things that only vegans are meant to have issues with, but you promote a meat-based diet where you have ostrich, beef, and bacon wrapped together for breakfast, and then you have your B12 supplement, your K2, your D, your C, your protein powders, 120 grams of protein powders a day is the recommended dose, McCullough says on his little uh, miracle way thing. So it's, just, it's fucking nonsense, total hucksterism, total snake oil salesman, snake oil on steroids, and you see people like uh, Monarch and Wolf and all those guys and Sisson trying to scramble behind on the coattails of McCullough and just sort of go, well, how much money can we make? And it's like, greedy motherfuckers selling poisonous junk. So McCullough goes on a little about that. Fruit toast makes you fat. Well, I can't see much fat on the old Duran Rider, can you? Hilarious stuff. Hilarious stuff. So let's get serious. Let's wrap this video up. I wanted to keep it short. It's already too long. You wanted to take advice from people who don't want to fucking sell you new shit every month. And it, like... I get like McCullough's news, there's always these little pop-up fucking ads here and there, buy this, buy that, special offer, special deal. And it's like, you know, it's just, it's bullshit, man. People are pr preying on health seekers. In my opinion, McCullough's worse than Monsanto. Everyone of half a brain, a, a tenth of the brain knows how fucked up Monsanto is. But then you got people into health and they get sucked in by McCullough's little infomercialisms and they genuinely believe McCullough's out there to help them. And if you look at the products McCullough sells, then most of them are fucking toxic. Whey protein? Now, if you want to talk about insulin levels, 
Why do bodybuilders do whey? Because whey fucking spikes the fuck out of insulin. It's an anabolic. It just spikes the fuck out of insulin. So if you want to have insulin-like growth factor production increased, have your whey. Because whey is full of insulin-like growth factor. Check it out. Look up dairy and cancer link. Whey protein, insulin-like growth factor and cancer growth. It's like freaking napalm, man. It's like gasoline for the fire. Insulin-like growth factor for, for cancer tumor cells, man. It's just, I don't know what to say. This is, <laughs> this is, there's not many hucksters that sort of uh, razz me up as much as this latest McCola infomercial newsletter put out to people using Ashton Kutcher as the example of the fruit-based lifestyle. Now, if McCola had any sense of integrity, which he fucking has zip, zero, zilch in my opinion, he would say, hey, well, you know, there's this evidence from fat Dr. Lustig, and then there's all these little fruitarian communities, all these fruit vegans, these 30 bananas a day folk, and they're fucking lean, and they're losing half their body weight. Some of the fat ones who've got in the lifestyle and just dropped half their body weight. Now they're fitter and healthier than ever before. Maybe it might work. Check these guys out. Make your own opinion. He's not saying it at all. He's pretending we don't fucking exist, and the only fruit here on the planet is Ashton fucking Kutcher. So people like that, I have zero respect for. Just, you know, they're not saying, well, maybe it works. They're saying, nah, it doesn't fucking work. These people don't exist. Buy my product now because you could be dead tomorrow. Otherwise, if you don't get it. Bottom line, get educated or get medicated. Listen to real doctors, real health, people who really care about your health. Doug Graham, Dr. McDougall, Colin Campbell. Dr. Esselstein, Dr. Bernard, all these people, I'm listing people out, but there's a lot of people out there who really care about your health and got some great advice Rick Dina, the Dina couple. There's a lot of people out there who don't want to fucking sell your monthly bullshit. They want to show you how to live healthily, what to eat, versus what to buy from my fucking website, FedEx to your door, these little plastic bottles end up fucking floating in the Pacific Ocean later on. So in a banana peel, Macola, infomercial, Huckster, snake oil, marketing, guru, nut job. Talks absolute rubbish, uses fear campaigns to push product on innocent people who had no, no better. Now, I've, we've got a way bigger social media presence than McCola. If you look at our YouTube hits, man, we get a lot. We could make multi, we could be multi-millionaires as well by selling noobs, bullshit products we import over from China and India and Russia and Ecuador and Bolivia and sell them, buy them cheap, sell them, you know, $560 a month as a baseline. $560 a month. It costs you $6,000 a year. <laughs> One person with just a snippet of product to do the McCola nutritional program. Metabolic typing, nonsense. I forge my beliefs based on my conclusions. You create new beliefs based on your own personal conclusions. Don't just listen to me. Think critically. Think critically. Don't get scammed. Carb the fuck up. We'll see you next video. Wanna get lean? Get on the fructose. And remember, fruit makes you fat!